4,790 pounds, a roughly 26 foot box flagstaff with a uh, classic kitchen sofa super slide here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, just coming in on trade. It's not perfect, it's not flawless, but when you consider the age of the RV, frankly, it's in pretty fair shape. I'd put it just a step above average considering the model year. And I think that if what you're looking for is to either get out of a pop-up or if you want to start camping without going broke doing it and you're looking for a lighter weight trailer, this could make a really good sort of like launch pad for your future camping adventures. One of the neat benefits to a more shallow classic lightweight slide, which is what we're looking at right here, is that you always maintain a little corridor basically where you can walk through here, you can fully access the entire RV in transit. Now, one of the big questions though is that with, like right here, this pantry, it's actually part of the slide out. It will slide in and out with the slide as we'll see in just a minute here. And it kind of covers up, you know, the question of can I get back here to the closet and the bathroom? And the answer is obviously, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. And even though that's not a giant slide out, um, it gets the job done. Now, pardon, there is a little bit of moisture on the floor here. That's mostly from me walking around. Uh, it's been kind of drizzling on and off all day, and I've had to jump in and out of the camper a few times. I keep getting interrupted, so I've got wet footprints all over the inside of this thing. Pardon me on that. Now, uh, this is a open bedroom concept, obviously, as you can see. The idea, though, was that you can shave about nine inches off of a trailer when you have a uh, lack of privacy wall, especially if you consider back when this trailer was made, they didn't have those really thin central entertainment centers because uh, TVs weren't flat screens really yet, not in the camping business anyway. So, you know, to, to put a big thick entertainment center in there took up a lot of space. To remove that, you could peel a chunk of room out of the RV and put, uh, this actually has a set of accordion doors that slide shut to kind of meet in the middle to give you a privacy if you do want to enclose the bedroom. Um, now, obviously, that front window will open to give you visibility. It is not a, well, the windshield on the front will open, or window shield, because that's a different thing. Good Lord, so many words, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, the weather shield on the front window can flip open to give you more light and more visibility. I have it closed currently, but you will see that there's day-night shades throughout everything. I did notice that this one shade right here, the right-hand string does need restrung, so that has popped. Um, you know, I like the side stands with the, the household outlets on both sides, but something, you know, Rockwood Flagstaff have done very well for many, many years is their underbed storage. They just do it a little bit different. They do it very nicely. Now you notice there is a little strip of carpet uh, right up under the front master bed area there. That's an interesting little classic thing that designers used to do, even though the rest of this RV has um, you know, no carpet and no heat vents in the floor. The idea was if somebody wakes up at night, they don't want to put their feet down on cold flooring. They want a nice warm fuzzy carpet to be able to put some slippers on or something. So classic entertainment center, you could put a TV up there, but the entertainment in RVs, uh, especially in years past until very recently, really, was very much a secondary concern, and it has become a more primary concern. There's storage under both sides of the dinette. Uh, oh my god, this thing even has a phone jack. That's crazy. That's just, that's funny. That's just such an antiquated piece of equipment there. Um, the table's free floating, though, and what I like about that is if you're big like me, you can scoot the table kind of toward your, your loved ones and make a little more room for yourself if they're smaller than you. Obviously, if they're bigger than you, they're not going to appreciate that. It can fold down into a sleeper. You can take it outside like a uh, picnic time, you know. We do have centrally ducted air. There are heat ducts through, uh, you know, a few of the cabinets to disperse some heat. This is not intended to be a hard, cold camping RV. This is a three-season conventional uh, type rig. Now, there's more to this kitchen than meets the eye. Because at a glance, you look and you go, oh, that's it? Well, understand, when you mount the kitchen in the slide-out, it offers the opportunity for an exceptionally deep countertop. These stoves and sinks are very standardized uh, in terms of sizing across this business. It's one of the few things that you can kind of bank on. But you see how you've got like an extra foot of space back there? That's a perfect spot for like your appliances and whatnot. Then on the front face of the slide is actually where you'd have some lower and upper kitchen cabinets. And then as we discussed earlier, that pantry right there on the side is actually part of the slide out. Um, 
Then over here, let me get this open. It's a little dark in this corner, apologies. You've got yourself a big old storage closet. Now in today's market, what you tend to find are the double over double size beds. This is back when they were still building a lot of single size beds, which means the RVs still had more storage space than they do today. Kind of like if you look at this additional pantry next to that refrigerator right there. A uh, quick peek at the bathroom before we step outside. You can kind of see where they were laying the groundworks of uh, a lot of the, uh, you know, modern Rockwood Flagstaff stuff. Very conventional, you know, travel trailer tub style thing. Nothing earth shattering there. Wow. Wow, that uh, sh the, the sleeve around the shower curtain, the just visible sleeve is just kind of aged a little bit. It doesn't hurt the function of the RV. I just, I don't know if I've ever seen that happen. But bigger Max Air vent fan back here to give you that superior airflow. And I do really appreciate that chunk of counter space next to the toilet it gives you a lot of extra space right here. So that, you know, if you're, you need a place to put your blow dryer down or something like that, you got a great spot for it. Again, it shows a little bit of age uh, outside here, but nothing terrible. You know, I like, there's a little bit of, uh, like if you look at the decals above the front window, you can see that there's a little peeling and fading there, but it's nothing that I think is like really concerning or exceptional considering the year of the RV and the use that it's had. This is back when Rockwood and Flagstaff were doing a fully six-sided laminated box. So this is a full aluminum skeleton, you know, laminated walls, floor, slide walls, everything. Overall, I mean, you can see that generally there's still a decent amount of gleam to the walls and everything. Um, classic tilt-out windows that you don't see used very much in the marketplace anymore. Um, you, you know, it's, it's, it's okay for what it is. It's not the biggest, bestest, brandest, newest thing, but she's here. And I really don't see anything concerning. Um, spare tire looks good. The uh, actual tires themselves look all right. That being said, they do look aged. So they're probably something that has aged out. Now, really critical note, guys, if you go around this RV a lot in person, this thing's been towed a lot. People use this thing a lot. They took care of it, but they used it. That's the whole point of an RV is to use it, obviously. You will find, let me see if I can get the camera on an angle where you can see it. Um, if you look under the awning, you might see some, like right there, right uh, above that big window, between the window and the door, you might notice that little vertical stress line. That is where there's like an aluminum beam in the wall framing out that window. Well, twisting and flexing and, and going down the road, it has, uh, you know, like a shoebox. If you twisted a shoebox in your hand, you do it enough, you're going to find little creases. It's got little spots like that on it. But that, again, is to be expected on something of this age that's been used. So everything that I see in this looks appropriate for the age of the RV, which obviously I've been saying the whole time, but I think it's an important thing to note. So if you want to get started camping, you want to get rid of the old pop-up, swap up or swap out or just get started, we got you covered right here. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.